Madam Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, my city, Avcılar, has a population of about half a million located on the European side of Istanbul. Uh, I was elected the mayor of Avcılar in 2019, and Avcılar's SDG uh, adventure has started since then. The biggest danger that uh, Avcılar faces is a possible earthquake, uh, which is much more than a physical trade. Avcılar also faces problems uh, of migration, low economic and social welfare, uh, including healthcare issues. Hence, we embarked on an ambitious action plan uh, to make Avcılar a resilient city right after I took office. Uh, our program, Avcılar model, rests of, on uh, six main pillars. One, urban regeneration. Second, urban heritage. Third, harmony with the environment. Fourth, inclusiveness in social and economic initi initiatives. Five, uh, innovation, focus public investment. Sixth, uh, accountability and participatory municipal services. These principles reflect a holistic approach that captures a sound, adaptive and transferable model in local government actions. In the words of Senator Bernie Sanders, offering the real solutions for real problems. Avcılar model also closely encompass the United Nations SDGs, demonstrating our determination to find local solutions to global problems and share our experiences with the world as evidenced in our VLR. Dear guests, COVID-19 has uh, taught us many lessons. When the national governments and supranational organizations still struggled on deciding what to do in the beginning of the crisis, life at the local level had quickly adjust to it. This adjustment cam came about through revival of the local networks of solidarity in all areas of social and economic cooperation in our communities. Local governments played a critical role here, leading, mobilizing, and supporting this process while providing logistical and material support to the central authorities. Dear friends, COVID was just one example of these hardships. Migration-related issues constitute another example for these problems. We believe any international or, and domestic effort to assist Immigrants must focus on common dreams of the people and their will to live together and coexist. Looking forward, this approach is the only sound way to build and maintain, maintain democratic tolerance in achieving prosperity and social peace in our co communities. Real solutions to these problems rest in the creative guiding and transformative powers of local communities. Therefore, central authorities must commit increased financial and other material assistance to local governments that are closer to the problems, the stakeholders, and the most direct solutions. They must also ensure that these resources directly reach the underprivileged segments of the society at the local level to provide them a decent life with basic human dignity. We believe in bright and prosperous future, sustainable and equitable for all. This future is already embedded in our local communities and eventually we will see it spring out of the very hearts and minds of our people. Before closing, I would like to thank the contributors of this conference and hope to come together with you again in another part of the world to address these issues in depth, perhaps in Avcılar. Why not? Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful, and I think you make a very good point. You know, we could be here for a whole day to, to listen in much more detail to the, the wonderful presentations that all of our panelists are making. 
in terms of bringing alive the SDGs and the realities of delivering the SDGs on the ground. And I think particularly in your kind of contribution, that importance of building the kind of participation, the trust involving local people in that process and how that then builds trust in local communities is, is critical. Uh, so thank you for that. Our next speaker, and I'm sorry, I know.